about the current season so far? Holy shit! I, uh, the, I think the response has been fantastic. I mean, I think, uh, you know, largely due to the incredible work of these two gentlemen sitting in front of you, and what was, a, I think, a really satisfying second season has just paid off even more. And it seems like everybody is... You know, continues to says it just gets better and better, like any series that you hope. But this, this season in particular, I think, has really resonated with new fans, you know, and, and of course, the, you know, the old fans. It's been really satisfying. Yeah, I think when, when Craig and I were talking about what we wanted to do different in the third season, uh, others agreed that we, we earned the right to go deeper into the characters and deeper into the story and and expand on the scope of what we were trying to portray as the world. Um, and I think the fans, for the most part, have reacted well to that. Um, there was a little bit of confusion at the beginning, and I think that that was to be expected. I mean, we kind of even knew that that was going to happen. But as we promised everybody, we would catch them up to what was happening and I think that's happened and I think there's been a few surprises along the way that nobody really expected. I think uh, interestingly to that point well, the response I got from a lot of the fans was we love that you're not talking down to us. We love that like we just entered into this season um, with a lot of questions knowing that they would be answered but you're not talking down to the audience not dumbed down at all. It's really I think made people kind of sit on the edge of their seat and pay attention and and it be part of the part of the fun process of figuring out where we're at. Where we're at. I mean, for me, I, I think that the nature of the writing this year, we're exploring characters, we're digging in in a way where we're going deeper into the characters and some of the relationships, and we're telling some stories that are a little unexpected. Um, and I, I think we're also answering questions that the audience has had for a long time, and we're you know, creating some new questions. This season has just been about epic. I mean, the last episode in particular, the view, have you heard the fan feedback from the ending of the last episode? Last week, last week. Some of it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's hard to surprise me because I watch a lot of TV and I kind of see stuff, but your the show is just, it's quite awesome. Thank you. Well, you know, we really have, uh, at all levels, you know, from writing and from the directors that we hire and, and the crew and, of course, especially the actors. Like, I just think we have a team that can really deliver, you know. The actors can really dig in and perform and you can have scenes with real meat on the bone. And so it gives us a lot of freedom to move in a lot of directions. Some episodes are more action and special effects heavy and some are just character based. And I, I always feel really proud that we can go any direction. We kind, of, we kind of always talked about the idea, I mean, that we have limited scope and time in which to do a uh, season. And, you know, uh, and we're constantly battling budget and circumstances, not least of which is the amazing and wonderful cooperative weather in Vancouver. Uh, uh, but I think what we were trying to approach it as is a sort of uh, amusement park where one episode would have a, one particular kind of a ride versus another episode and yet it still had some sort of coherent and consistent thematic through lines for it, which I feel we did. And I think this last episode where we reveal Lourdes finally as, as the mole was something that we talked, all of us talked about a lot and wanted to make sure that we didn't give it away. But at the same time, if you look back at the episode, um, make sure that it was all in place and that there was a good reason for it. And I'll never forget the day that Greg and I had to go to Let Me Say Shell and tell her, oh, by the way, you're the mole. And she looked at us, I think she said words we might not be able to print. <laughs> 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 she said, am I going to die? <laughs> She's a doll. And, uh, but we had that conversation like, when do we tell her? But we wanted to make sure that she could very subtly inform the whole season. So we pulled her aside. We said, don't tell anybody else. That didn't last too long within the crew. But 
but uh, she was excited by that. <laughs> and she's got some great material to come this season. And I think you're going to really be very excited by where her character goes, yeah. you know, in the upcoming yeah. episodes. Because she now has the ability to, and the opportunity to do some stuff that, that the so, character Florida has already done. By the end of the season, are you going to reveal at what point she is in the category? Or is that something that's going to be very easy? It's a good question. Um, and I'll, I'll just answer it a little vaguely because I don't want to spoil anything, but there will be more opportunity to understand what's happened, but not necessarily a definitive answer. That's something to be explored later on. No? <laughs> yeah, you, you guys have done a, a fantastic job uh, making the show really entertaining, but I think the part that really draws me and a lot of the fans is, is the heart, you know, the, the um, discussions about family and things like that. Um, if, if you guys had, you know, if you wanted this show to, to kind of say something about hum, humanity and human nature, which I think is largely a, a theme that you explore a lot on the show, one thing, what would that be? Well, I mean, it's funny, I, 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 I'm glad you asked that question because it's really fun for all of us to do, like, battles with aliens and to do eye worms and be inside a spaceship and... And it's na- human nature to sometimes get lost in that. But our touchstone that we, as a group, always go back to is, everybody said really there's two things. The characters, the heart, the family, the Mason family is the heart of everything. And, the, and, and relationships always are bread and butter. And the action and the visual effects are always the icing on the cake. And we always, sometimes we have to remind each other of that, but that's always what we circle back to. And then the other thing is, like, you know, always end on a surprise. Um, that's yeah, and I think I, I mean just uh, going taking that way. Um, I think that the thing that we always talk about, we all are trying to raise families in a world that's kind of wacky, not quite as bad as aliens and skitters trying to eat your head. But I think that you know raising a child, trying to keep a family together, trying to keep your your belief system intact when everything seems to be going crazy around you is something that I think Falling Skies reflects so wonderfully and we Craig's so right because even in the writing world we suddenly find ourselves getting hooked on some crazy science fiction idea and we have to like take a moment to say okay you know that's not what the show is about how does it work on our characters and we end up doing the same thing on the set so we're really family focused the other thing I would add is you know we talk about this in this context which is about you know maintaining your humanity you know we always said from day one you know anyone in the audience I think you can really imagine yourself in this predicament of what would you do and it's the human condition and, and you know rising to the occasion and taking the fight back and literally fighting for the survival of the human race and in the most adverse conditions maintaining a little carving out a little slice of humanity so whether that's a birthday party and the pilot or the, you know, the birth of a kid or just being a parent shooting the president or shooting yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it is kind of about that it always comes back to um, you know and that was what we set out to do in the beginning it was certainly you know kind of a mandate of Stevens. I think also that we, you know, we want the audience to, like, go, put themselves in this situation and go, could I be that noble? Could I hold my family together? Could I rise against adversity? You know, those are the kind of questions we want people to ask themselves. And in that sense, you know, if, if we want it to be a show that's really positive. There are other post-apocalyptic shows that show the disintegration of um, humanity or the opposite. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.